good morning, good morning, guys. Yeah, it is an early morning, but hey, guess what? We picked up our preloaded trailer. Now we're making our way home, sweet home. Yes, indeed. I know it's probably a little dark out there, but hey, that's part of trucking, guys. Every once in a while, you have to drive late in the night or early in the morning. And that's what we're doing right now. It's actually 3 a.m. in the morning, Central Standard Time, so it's early. Oh, yeah. So we're going to be driving a few, a few hours here uh, uh, in the dark, but hey, that's the way it is. And I uh, hope you guys don't mind too much. I know it's probably not too much to see out there, but uh, anyways, we'll get our day started here. And then uh, we'll see you guys on the road somewhere, down the road. I am just coming into uh, Sudbury, Ontario that is, yeah. Sun is not up yet, it's been drizzling and all that good stuff. Oh well. I've been driving now for four hours and uh, guess what? It's time to make us a pit stop. I don't know if you can actually see me in there or not, but whatever. It's early in the morning, so I figured, you know what, time to check in. Basically say good morning to you guys. Yeah, I haven't actually updated my website, so I need to uh, make a pit stop here anyways. And, uh, go ahead and update my website and let you guys all know where we're heading and then I need to take me a break anyways in four hours so it's time to take care of business inspect the truck and trailer a little bit see if everything is still all right in there I guess once we get that done then we'll be out of here again continue on cruising there so we won't be wasting a lot of time today anywhere too much so you will just be uh, hammer down hammer down there is actually a truck stop here just over the hill so, uh, so yeah that's where we're gonna go to and then uh, go from there I don't know what the GPS has got going now <laughs> He's telling me to go a little different than the entrance to the left on Highway 17 East on the E17 East North Bay, and then make it as possible in 670 meters. That's weird. Because I would need to go that way around instead of going that way around, you know, like. I don't know why the GPS is doing that, but. Alrighty, guys, we got about 105 kilometers to go. And I will be in uh, South St. Marie, Ontario. Yeah, it's been a good while since we've been actually going through this area up here. So, uh, you know, we can see some new construction areas and all of that stuff that we haven't seen before. But other than that, it's just pretty much a little bit drizzling here and there. And gotta keep my wipers on uh, pretty steadily. Other than that, we haven't seen too much action yet today. I'm just giving her. I already got six hours worth of driving behind me. and Probably have another six and a half hours worth of driving to do if I want to go to where I'm planning on being. I'm thinking I'm going to be in Terrace Bay, Ontario for the night. Unless I get too tired before that, then I'll decide to stop earlier, obviously. But... Other than that, that's where we plan on going to. And we'll see how that goes, but uh, yeah. Once we leave uh, South St. Marie, we got some pretty big hills up there, so we'll see how that's going to slow us down with our load. I mean, it doesn't feel like that we have a super heavy load, so we should be pretty easily be able to uh, crawl those hills. And, get over them and all of that stuff but uh, we'll see I guess but yeah I'm excited it looks like I'll be home tomorrow night after all so 
so that's awesome. Yeah, that's right. Speed warning. Well, yeah, anyways, we're just giving her and kind of boring out here today. I mean, drizzling. It's not exactly cool, but it's a little bit, you know, depressing weather, I guess you could say. I much rather like to have a nice sunny day. Good thing is it's not really windy, so that's one benefit to it, but earlier in Sudbury and I know my friend uh, 42 North Side he lives just north of there and I know he would have loved to meet with me but it was kind of early when we got there so uh, he lives about 45 minutes no uh, north of there so really meet up with him there I know he had some doctor's appointment too so yeah maybe next time next time when we come through here we get to uh, get to meet again it's been a long while since I met up with him and I mean he had his reasons too why he couldn't meet up with me but and I understand those but we still can't talk about those reasons <laughs> yeah but anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope I can entertain you a little bit. I am now a little bit past Saint Sault Saint Marie already. Yeah, now we're starting to get into the hilly stuff a little bit. These are not the big hills yet, but hey, we're starting to get into the rolling hills a little bit now. So uh, yeah, we got our work cut out for us but hey luckily we're not too heavy from the way I looked at it because at the South St. Marie there there's a DOT scale there and they were open so I went across there and I looked at the numbers over there and that was only about 10,000 kgs on the drives and the same thing on the trailer so yeah it's probably 35,000 maybe maybe 30 35,000 in the box so uh, so that's not too terribly bad it's a good enough weight where uh, you know as I'd say in winter time that would be perfect you have good traction and all that good stuff but uh, hey, here in summer we don't really need that right unless we get heavy rain then that could be a little bit needed too but yeah, up there to the left, we're going to see the lake a little bit. I think I'm going to go right by it. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up too much or or not, but we'll have to take a look. But yeah, we're, uh, we're basically in the dead zone right now. There ain't too many towns in between here and uh, I guess you could say Wawa. There's a few little dinky towns in here somewhere, but other than that, nothing really out here. Oh, looks like we got a brick shack here. That's what we call it. Gotta come to a stop. Let's put my four ways on. Got the trucks behind me know about it. Looks like they got it down to two lane or one lane up here. I meant to say this is only a two lane road. But yeah, look at that, up there, to the left, you can actually see the lake up there a little bit. Yeah, that's right. Looks like we'll be able to get going here pretty soon. Looks like that's the last truck there. There we go. Now we can get her going. That wasn't so bad of a wait. Yeah, there we go. Oh, looks like they're working on the fence here on the side a little bit, repairing it. That's what it looks like. Looks like that soil is starting to disappear there from the road, so that's what, what it looks like. They're rebuilding that a little bit. But yeah, anyway. 
anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here, right? That's the plan anyways. We will get to see some bigger hills here in a little bit, but as of right now, we're just coming into the kind of like rolling hills a little bit. And uh, pretty soon we'll have to pull up that big hill up there. And that's always a tough one there. They got one that's a few miles long there and it's a steady incline, you know. And usually if I have a heavy load by time, by time I'm up the top, I'm down to like fifth gear or, or something like that, you know, or I don't know fifth gear, but probably the sixth gear or something like that, depending on how heavy I am, I guess, but, but yeah, I'm, su I'm surprised I didn't actually see any moose or deer or, or uh, bears or anything here this last night, because I mean, you see guys saw, I started really early in the morning, so, I was very surprised that I didn't see any of them out here, but the better for me, right? <laughs> I don't really want them out here, especially when I'm out here on the road, but yeah, they're wild animals, so you gotta keep an eye on them, that's for sure. But yeah, we'll continue on cruising here. We probably have another, well, let's say another four hours to go, maybe. And we'll be done for today. Hey guys, looks like we are almost done for today. And it's only early afternoon. <laughs> yeah, we've been working really hard today. And uh, so yeah, we are just about done for today. Probably got another 45 minutes worth of driving to do. And then we'll be done for today. And as you can obviously see, it's still drizzling. <laughs> yeah. It's the way it goes sometimes, but hopefully by tomorrow we'll be able to get through this. And if not, well, tomorrow we'll be home and then you won't have to hear the wipers go anymore, right? But anyways, I figured uh, I kind of gave uh, 42 Northside a shout out earlier. And I figured, you know what? Let's give his grandson a shout out too. Brad, you got yourself a big thumbs up, my friend. Would love to see you again one of these days. Yeah, I know I met you once and that was fun. So there you go. You got yourself a shout out. <laughs> Hope you liked it. I know you're probably gonna give me a comment on it. Yeah, I would love to see you in the comments there. All that good stuff, but yeah. We're gonna make it up to White River. Ontario and that's where we're gonna call it quits yeah, it's my plan anyways that's a pretty much halfway point between Toronto and uh, and Steinbach so it's very small difference between it I think it's a thousand and sixty kilometers up to there and it's a thousand and forty five kilometers from there to home so just about halfway you know I'm a little more today than I have to do tomorrow but but yeah so that's what it's gonna come down to so anyways we'll go go ahead and get on over there and we'll see what happens from here to there I suppose here we are coming into White River already Wow I guess I had that wrong I thought it was a thousand and sixty kilometers up to here but it's incorrect it's actually a thousand kilometers up to here and about a thousand and forty five or forty six right now up to uh, we get home yeah look at that so I kind of got to decide if I want to pull into this asshole over here or if I want to go up to the next truck stop there but I think I'm gonna pull her in right over here I'm gonna go in here and see we can park in over here Hopefully there's parking in here. Looks like there is a couple of trucks in here already, but uh, let's go ahead and see if we can make us a spot in here as well, right? <laughs> yeah, anyways, figure I show you a little bit of White River. Wow, looks like this guy right here, he's sleeping too. I'm impressed. <laughs> there's a lot of trucks here. Usually this lot is empty. 
But anyways, we'll get out of here and then we'll uh, talk with you guys in a few. All right, guys, I have decided to go for a little bit of a walk. Show you around uh, White River, Ontario a little bit, you know. Figure that might be uh, not a bad idea for you. Yeah, so let's take a look, guys. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, look at them flowers that they got in the background over here. And this is what I really came over here for. I hope the sun ain't gonna blind you guys too much. Well, let's take a look. You guys see this big bear up here? Yeah, let's take a look in there. Any snakes in there, guys? Let me know, I can't see it. Cause I'm way down here, so I don't know if there's snakes in there or not. But yeah, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but uh, they got some kind of playground over here. They got the playground over there in the background there for the kids to play in. And they got some other things in here, so figured, you know what, let's go ahead and go for a little bit of a walk. Yeah, so you guys can pause the video if you want to see exactly what's on the writing up here. You can read all of that if you're into reading and all that good stuff. But yeah, let's take a look at these beautiful flowers over here. Hey, look at that, guys. They got even more on the other side there. We'll go have a, a walk on the other side there. Show you some flowers. I bet you Lisa would probably like that. <clears throat> Maybe some other women out there too. Linda, I know she probably would like flowers. I'm not 100% sure, but I know Lisa doesn't really care too much for flowers. That's what I've been told, but I still like to, <clears throat> still like to bug her about it. <laughs> Why not, right? Yeah, so let's go for a little walk here and show you guys a little bit of White River. Ontario, that is. So yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Showed you around a little bit anyways. And uh, now we're back in the truck. We're getting ready to go to bed. As you guys can see, it's still daylight out there. And it's only about four o'clock central time right now, but uh, whatever. I wasted enough time here walking around and doing some stuff, but I think it was good for me to go for a little bit of a walk and stuff like that. So hope you guys appreciated it too. I know it's probably not been the best of the videos today, but hey, that's the way it goes sometimes, especially if you get up early in the morning. And then get going and uh, you get tired. But anyways, appreciate you guys all watching. And uh, we'll see you right here tomorrow morning on the Trucker Rudy Show. Have a good one, everybody, and we'll see you here tomorrow morning. <laughs>